Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one was requested by Simon. And if you're a Windows 10 user, you're gonna probably wanna use this software. It does basically block all the spying features inside uh, Windows 10 and gives you back your privacy. So we're gonna take a quick look at it in this video. It's called Shut Up 10. So as you can see here, this is the actual software. We don't need to install it. It does run from the executable file and also it is free to use which is a nice added bonus. Also, you can see here, it does have great little features like you can click on these and it will give you sort of little uh, bubbles here where you can read this information and find out what they actually are and what they're doing. So if you want to disable these, it's a simple case of just using the sliders to slide this on and off. So that means you don't go having to hunt for this a particular file and uh, also creating registry keys. So this will do it all for you. You just click these sliders on whatever you want. Also, another great feature here is going up to the actions area. You do have also apply only recommended settings. We also, and these recommended settings you can see are listed down here and it will tell you exactly what it wants to do here. And also you do see here recommended and somewhat recommended settings is down here and also we have apply all settings so this will reply all settings uh, using this feature here now you can also uh, create a restore point here which I would advise you to do this will prompt you to do that anyway uh, before it makes any changes which is always a good thing because it means you can revert back to a time when your computer was working properly just in case something goes wrong now with Windows changing settings automatically for you you may want to keep tabs on this stuff because uh, after updates, sometimes it likes to reset all your settings. You also have a great feature here, which is undo all changes to factory settings, which will be back to default the way you had them when you first started uh, using this program. So it has got everything you need here to get you uh, back up and running to the way you had it before if you don't want to use it. And if you just want to go through manually, you can just go through and tick some of these uh, the way you want to, or you can just come in and just apply all these, like so, uh, apply all the recommended settings and then reboot your system. And uh, once you reboot your system, you're pretty much good to go from there. So what we're going to do here is just take a look. You can see here, Windows Geolocation, the services, uh, disabled you can just go ahead and do more of this stuff if you wanted to uh, like so and if you want to come in here and do this one apply all settings this will then do the whole lot for you in one fell swoop so it just depends on how far you want to go into it so you can see here recommended and somewhat recommended settings it will just do uh, some of them and uh, that's basically it. You've got a little help area here to help you out. And also you've got a view section here to uh, change the language. If you're from another part, uh, part of the world, you can see English, uh, France, uh, Deutsch, which is German, also Italian. And I think that is either Polish or Russian, uh, one of those two. And uh, that's pretty much it for the video. So, I mean, we've got all our settings here, like import settings and export settings. So whatever you need to use this for, you've got your link down here to the website where you can go there and uh, check it out for the latest versions. Uh, but I think it's a great little piece of kit for uh, someone who wants to um, protect themselves from uh, Microsoft's uh, antics. And you can see here, once you've got all your settings in place, it will ask you to restart. You just click restart. And once we restart the system, we can go back into our program, no need to right click on it, just uh, click on the icon there and you can see it will say the program shut up 10 as detected changes and you can accept these changes. And that's pretty much it, it's done these uh, changes for us, you can see we've got all these in place here. If you want to do others you can do, you can just disable OneDrive and other bits and pieces depending on how far you want to go with it but pretty much it's a really decent better kit and it will save you a lot of time rather than having to go through and having to keep changing these uh, settings every time windows uh, 10 does an update because it seems to put everything back to default and this just speeds up the process anyway i'll leave the link in the video description i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support i shall see you again for another video real soon
Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.